Now, forewarn weather with exclusive cutting edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. I know we had it good for three weeks. No rain, nice and sunny and even unseasonably warm. But now this, you know, dreary, rainy, 60-ish. It depends on who you talk to. The Two farmers are probably like, <laughs> yes, give us the cooler nights. Anybody of the rain. depending on, yes, cooler temperatures and a lot of wet weather definitely are loving this. I so know. We're, we're going to take one for the team then. And right now, the weekend's shaping up to be pretty nice. Perfect. And so that'll time out well. So yeah. let's go ahead and look at the weather story for today as we are tracking multiple rain chances this week. Some gusty winds could be possible this afternoon as we could have a few non severe storms roll through with maybe a brief heavy downpour or the gusty wind. And then cool again today, but we will be turning warmer heading into the weekend. So here's a look at exact track 40. And if you were with us early this morning, this was a little more colorful with rain showers. So that rain now pushing to the east, even east of Port Huron. So southeastern Michigan getting that break that we were expecting midday, but more rain will be pushing in from the west as we head into the afternoon. So this low pressure system will continue to push eastward. And when we get on the back edge of that, you see all that rain wrapped around it. That'll eventually make its way here to Metro Detroit. So downtown Detroit right now, awfully gloomy. 60 degrees in the city, 63 in Ann Arbor, 57 in Port Huron, and 64 in Adrian, with southwesterly winds between about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And so that's bringing in that moisture. So you can see how some of this could bubble up in the heat of the afternoon, though it doesn't feel too warm. We call that convective warming, and so we at two o'clock could have a couple little scattered showers. I think a better chance for that scattered rain will be into the later part of the afternoon, even into the evening. I've stopped the clock at 8 p.m., and we could be dealing with a heavy downpour then. A little more widespread in our southern communities as we get past sunset, but this doesn't linger all night long. This will push out just after midnight and some clearing skies, which will help us welcome some of that sunshine back into the forecast heading into your Wednesday. But first today, waves of showers will continue. We'll be in and out of them, so it's not an all afternoon washout, but you get the picture garden variety showers. We hit our high closer to about two, so we'll be rising a few degrees to about 66 degrees today, and then we will be falling in those temperatures. Now, if you're heading out to Comerica Park, there could end up being a rain delay. We'll have to see how this pans out, but rain is likely right around the time of first pitch here in Detroit. They'll be taking on the Braves again. If the game was to play exactly as scheduled, we could see a few lingering showers after the game's end. Allergy forecast. So still looking at moderate levels of tree, grass, even ragweed now, but with the rain in the forecast this afternoon and rain in the forecast again on Thursday, I anticipate to see this go down a little bit, which it has since we had Sunday's rain showers. So speaking of rain, let's take you to our next rain maker after today, which is Thursday. So I've stopped the clock at three o'clock in the afternoon. Thursday, widespread rain across southeastern Michigan. It's with this approaching front sticks with us throughout the afternoon and evening by 11. A lot of that's pushing out and We'll see that push through overnight with some clear skies going into your Friday. Those clear skies hang around Saturday will be seasonal right around 80. Now on Sunday, we do have some clouds that start to mix back in come Sunday morning, so we might end up having an overcast day for Father's Day. But as of now, you see all that moisture kind of dancing around the area as we could potentially be entering a new blocking pattern with some drier conditions. But for today and Thursday, we could end up seeing about a total of an inch of rain, which is needed to help kind of chisel away at that deficit. But by the weekend, we welcome back the sunshine and temperatures will be in the low 80s and that takes us into the early part of next week.